Okay. Good morning, everybody. Thank you for joining us today. My name is Nicole Kelleher, and you are attending the Governor's Office of Federal Assistance Grants uh, Discovery and Resources Training. Um, I'll continue to let attendees in um, as we move along in today's training. Um, just as a little intro, I wanted to let you know a little bit about us. Um, uh, the Governor's Office of Federal Assistance, also known as the OFA, was created with the passage of Assembly Bill 445 of the 81st Legislative Session. Our vision um, with the Governor's Office of Federal Assistance is to support our stakeholders in obtaining, increasing, and maximizing federal assistance, to reduce barriers by providing inclusive, collaborative, comprehensive, and centralized support in obtaining federal dollars for the state of Nevada. Uh, just a few, uh, a few um, general housekeeping. Uh, first of all, we want to thank you guys for being here today. Um, we have an excellent turnout and um, are excited to offer you an excellent training as well. Um, the training will be recorded and it will be stopped during our question and answer session at the end of the training. Uh, today's video um, resources are going to be shared with you and will additionally be posted to our website uh, for future access. And if you have any questions um, that you are afraid you might forget by the end of the, the slideshow when we have our question and answer session, you can pop them into the chat and we will um, circle back and address those questions. Um, additionally, closed captioning is available. So please click the CC button at the bottom of your screen for access. So I wanna take a second to introduce your trainer today. Kylie Howard is a lover of the arts and an excellent and talented bassoonist and is a tremendous asset to the OFA. She will be um, sharing with you um, the training on how to find um, federal grant um, opportunities on the grant discovery process and additional resources. Go ahead, Kylie. Hello, everyone. I am so excited to be here with you today. Uh, as Nicole mentioned, I am a bassoonist by trade. I spent many years uh, working for the cultural industry and grant discovery. My background um, is heavily with the arts and finding that right grant for arts organizations, which can be a little challenging. And so very transferable. I'm very excited to speak with you today about grant discovery. So I wanna go over some uh, learning objectives and goals because applying for a grant can feel especially intimidating if you've never done it before or don't know where to start. Um, so today we're gonna go over before the search, getting set up for search success. Then we're gonna cover resources for locating federal grant opportunities. Then we'll talk about the free grant discovery software created in partnership with US Digital Response that we're really excited to be able to offer you. It launched just a couple of weeks ago. And finally, completing that grant fit check, making sure the federal grant is a good fit for your program or project. And so we're really excited to be offering this training to help you engage in grant discovery. And we are excited to be continually offering monthly trainings on different aspects of the process of grants management. After today, I would highly encourage you to go watch our Grants 101 presentation if you haven't already on our website. And then please stay tuned for future announcements as we do a new training every single month. All right, now that that's all out of the way, Let's dig right in. So the first thing when it comes to grant discovery is you have to know what you are funding and generate some keywords. And what do I mean by know what you are funding? Well, you first have to know what you're looking for. Are you looking for general operating support, technical development, capacity building, or are you looking to fund a specific program or project? And if it's a program or project, is the project fundable? Now that's a question that I don't think we ask ourselves enough, but by that, I mean, what are the deficiencies, the strengths, the inputs, and the outputs? And why should a funder care about your program? Does it uh, relate directly back to your agency's or organization's central mission or purpose? These are all very critical questions to ask yourself. And if you can start to develop these answers, you'll have a clearer picture of exactly what kind of grant you're looking for, and it'll help even in the grant writing process, having these questions answered from the outset. The next thing I want you to consider are other agencies or organizations doing similar work? And if they are, can you collaborate? Is there an opportunity for you to work together? And if they're not, are you fulfilling a specific niche? Because that can also elevate your grant application when it comes time to apply. 
So now that you've done all of that heavy thinking about exactly what you're doing and why you're doing it, you can develop some keywords. And keywords are essential in your grant discovery process. And by keywords, I mean, okay, what kind of project category is this? Who is it serving? Why is it being funded? Why is this important at this time? And once you have those keywords, you can use them as filtering during your searching. Okay, the next thing I want you to do before you even begin your search is understand your capacity and timeline. We want you to engage in project management right off the get-go. So who's gonna write the grant? Who's gonna manage the grant? Do you have the staff to do both of those, those, those part, parts of the grant process? When do you plan on offering the services funded by the grant? And how much money do you need for the program to be successful? Understanding all of these questions can help you generate a timeline and then work backwards. And I love working backwards when I do project management. I think about the end date in mind, the end goals, and work my way back from there. So when is your project starting? When do you need that money by? So now we need to find a grant award date before that funding deadline. And then we need to find a close date before that. And then we have to build in time to prepare a grant application as that can take sometimes weeks, sometimes months. And then we can look at, OK, we're looking for a grant that opens within this timeline. And then do we have enough time to spend in grant discovery and always put more time in grant discovery than you think you're going to need because you never know. Sometimes there are a lot of grants to look through. Sometimes there are not many and you have to look through different sources. And we're going to go through all of that as we continue today's presentation. All right, so now we're ready to engage in our search. And I want you to think about this four filters plus one method. And this method is from the book Storytelling for Grant Seekers, a guide to creative nonprofit fundraising. And like I said, I come from the nonprofit world, so this is a very important book for nonprofit fundraisers. But I think it has a lot of applicable things that we can apply to many different industries, many different types of organizations, even state government, local government and tribal government. And in this book, it details four criteria to sort your funding. The first is subject area. The second is geographical preference. The third is type of financial need. And the fourth is typical dollar range of grants awarded. And you'll notice that we've already answered these first three questions earlier when we were understanding our funding and generating keywords. And then the plus one is relationships. Are there any connections between you and a potential grant maker that you can leverage? So a tip for making research more efficient. Review the first two criteria, subject matter and geography, before going any further when you identify a grant. If you identify a funder that supports agencies doing the work that you're doing, but sets geographic restrictions on its grant making, say it says only Northern Nevada and you're in Southern Nevada, stop reading. Don't even go any further. <laughs> it's time to find another grant, right? You're only wasting your time by reading about a funder that does not fund in your area or does not fund the type of work that your agency does. So these first two criteria are super critical. If we pass both of those, then we can start looking at three, four, and then leveraging relationships. All right, we've talked about getting set up, getting successful for our grant search, but now it's time to actually do the search. So where are we gonna begin? Well, we've compiled here a list of resources for you. And when you receive the slides at our follow-up email, you'll be able to click on each of these links and be directly taken to these opportunities. The first is ofa.nv.gov. That's our website. We maintain extensive lists of funding opportunities available to Nevada agencies on our website. Then there are subscri subscription options. Foundation Directory, GrantStation, and GrantGopher are all examples of subscription op options. And just a note here, OFA does not endorse any subscription option. We, we just can't do that, but we will let you know that there are subscription options out there and some that we're familiar with. Then look at state agencies. And across the state of Nevada, they're, they're constantly awarding funding through the state budget, through federal pass-through funds. We have a list of state agencies on our website and a link to their website as well. And then grants.gov, our main place for finding federal funding. And then we'll talk later today about the USDR grant discovery tool. OK, digging right in here, OFA.nv.gov. We have over, as of this morning, 400 different funding opportunities on OFA.nv.gov. And I sort them personally. 
every single week. I go through and I make sure that they're applicable to Nevada um, organizations. Sometimes some flip, slip through the cracks, but I always make sure to find them and, and get them taken care of. And this uh, database is also powered by our Notice of Funding Opportunity Form. So when agencies and organizations across the state have a funding opportunity, whether that's passed through federal funding or from their state budget, or maybe they're a foundation who has their own funding that they can offer, they can submit to our Notice of Funding Opportunity form on our website, and then that opportunity gets loaded into this database. So you're going to see federal opportunities in here, state opportunities, and foundation opportunities in this directory. It's sortable by a uh, project category, as you can see here on the screenshot. It's broken out into arts, culture, and humanities, business, labor, civil rights, COVID-19, education, energy, et cetera. And you can sort not only by the project type, but you can also search by, sort and search by the close date, the administering agency. Maybe you're looking for state funds specifically, or you're looking for federal funds specifically and if you're eligible. So each one of them has, if it's a nonprofit are eligible, if state agencies are eligible, if local government, if tribal government is eligible, you can sort by all of those criteria. So this is a really great place. Uh, you can also download a CSV file to share with, um, cannot see any screenshots. Can I have a staff confirm that the slides are moving forward as they appropriately should be? Um, yes, I can see the slides and they're moving forward. Um, it might be um, a technical uh, issue on their end. OK, but all right, so, well, yeah, yeah this will be posted online on our website. And um, I believe in your email this morning, you did receive a copy of the slides if you were registered pre today for this event. And so please make sure to view those there. I'm, I'm sorry, I can't do much about not seeing the slides at this moment from my position here. So I'm going to pre proceed with the um, with the presentation and hopefully we'll catch you here pretty soon with those slides. All right, so like I said, this ofa.nv.gov uh, database, you can download as a .csv file and you can share out with other people in your organization, your entities, you can make that file your own, et cetera. But I would always um, suggest that you come back to our website to view the new opportunities because I am posting new opportunities weekly. All right. Let's move forward. Let's talk about subscription websites and online directories. So Foundation, uh, excuse me, Grant Station, the Foundation Center, and Grant Gopher are all really great places to start. With Grant Station, there's various searchable directories as well as a nonprofit grant database for all my nonprofit friends here. Uh, the Foundation Center uh, also Focus towards nonprofit organizations, but it has a large database. You do have to purchase it. Again, a lot of these have costs associated. So for new agencies or small agencies, this may or may not be the best option for you, which is why we have a couple other tools, but it's good to be aware of them. And then Grant Gopher is a grant aggregator. It shows opportunities um, that are available at the time. So this, uh, most commonly though, grants.gov is really gonna be your go-to search. It's free, it's run by the federal government. It can be a little bit of a hassle, but um, they now have a convenient phone or mobile app that you can download, so they are getting better. All right, let's talk about state agencies. So there are some general state resources that we'd like you to be aware of. The first is the Governor's Office of Economic Development. Um, and in the state, in the first state plan for economic development are establish a cohesive economic development operating system, increase opportunity through education and workforce development. They're focused on that. Catalyzing innovation in core and emerging industries such as advanced manufacturing, technology, energy, health, operation, logistics, startup venture capital, advanced targeted sectors and opportunities in the region and expanded global engagement. So if any of those categories fit, uh, Go ahead, Governor's Office of Economic Development might be a good place for you to also engage in grant discovery. And the next opportunity and location we want you to be aware of is the Nevada State Infrastructure Bank, or SIB, and it was established to provide low cost financing to Nevada state agencies, local governments, tribal governments, and nonprofit organizations for priority infrastructure projects. So it can provide financing for transportation facilities, utilities, infrastructure, infrastructure, et cetera. They do have a lot more loans than grants, but you never know. That is another source of funding that might be worth looking into as you engage in your grant discovery. And then additionally is the Office of Science, Innovation and Technology, OSIT. 
and it's charged with administering grants that are provided by legislative appropriation, so state funding and other STEM and broadband related grants from the federal government, so state and federal government here. And some, pri for, some also have private foundations. So current funding opportunities include K through five STEM grant, workforce challenge grants, STEM uh, work for, <laughs> talent pipeline development grant, and the designated STEM school grant, all which can be found on their website at osit.nb.gov. And then uh, we also want you to consider other agencies as applicable, like we talked a couple slides ago, such um, there are plenty of different state agencies out there. And I would look at, you know, what category you're filling and try to find the appropriate um, agency. So tourism, agriculture, Department of Energy, those are all examples. Um, for, for a really detailed example, the Nevada Division of Tourism has rural marketing grants, which may be of use to you if you're a rural entity and you're trying to get people to come participate in your services. So there are plenty of of different opportunities available to you through just Nevada state government. And so be aware of the state agencies that are doing similar work to yours and make sure you keep an eye on their funding opportunities announcements. Definitely bookmark their pages on your um, on your browser, etc. All right, the big one, grants.gov. This database has all of the federal funding opportunities. Uh, thousands of grants and it also has a list of grant making agencies so maybe you want to find it, the exact agency like you did for the state that fits within your project and look at just their opportunities you can totally do that uh it provides a database that features thousands of grants as well as the list of grant making agencies like i said the more you use it and the more you take the time to explore it and the various resources it provides the more comfortable you will become with it. It can be a little intimidating at the very beginning. Just keep going. You'll get the hang of it, I promise. Uh, it has a comprehensive list of resources that um, the staff here at OFA find very helpful, including trainings and presentations and general information on grants management. So after you've gotten those, that funding, now what, right? Resources include grant policies, explanations as to grant eligibility, as well as a comprehensive list of grant terminology. Maybe you're reading that funding announcement and you're not really sure what they mean. You're really brand new to grant discovery, grant management. You can go and look at their, their list of uh, grant terminology and, and be aided in your grant discovery process. Now, while you're doing this, don't forget your four sorting criteria. Make sure you narrow down first by subject area, and then by geographic preference. Make sure you utilize your keywords and then take a look at your project timeline. And before you read too much further into that grant, make sure that the close date is doable. I don't want you to spend time on a grant opportunity that closes tomorrow when you could have been using those 10 minutes reading that announcement to find five other grants that close in a month or three months from now that are maybe a better fit for your organization. So like I said, Grants.gov takes a little bit of time and effort, but it it can pay off really well. And if you want, um, if you want the more curated list from from Grants.gov, as a reminder, OFA runs our own database that is powered by a lot of these grants. We just make sure that they're all geographically appropriate. We try to take that that second criteria taken care of for you. Okay. This is really exciting, and we do have the project lead for this tool on hand at the end to answer your questions. Uh, very excited. Maida um, on our team has really been a, a, a good proponent for pushing for this tool, and this is the US Digital Response Grant Identification Tool, so USDR as we like to call them. And USDR is a nonpartisan nonprofit that works with government agencies to uh, use technology to fill the gaps. And in this case, the gap was grant discovery. And this database is awesome. <laughs> I'm so excited about it. We launched it just a couple of weeks ago. And um, you can, like grants.gov, you can sort and filter by various criteria. But unlike grants.gov, it actually saves to your profile. And you can actually share the grant opportunity that you found with other members of your team within their profile. And you can track who's interested in it and who's applied for it, et cetera. This, this tool is really exciting. You can also receive push email notifications when a grant comes into, comes into being that matches your criteria that you've already put in. Uh, you, like you, I said, you can bookmark grants of interest. You can assign the grants to other users. 
um, you can see who else is interested in this grant. And so you can identify collaborators across the state so that you can work together to create an even more impactful uh, application for the grant program. So we're really excited about this. More information is on our website. Please go ahead, take a look at the link that will be in the chat. Uh, you can see all about that and you can sign up to get enrolled in this tool. It is free. It is one of the first tools in the nation to be provided statewide. So we are, yes, we are very, very excited about how awesome this tool is. And if you have any specific questions on this tool, Maida is on hand um, after today's training to answer those questions. And we are moving right along here. We're going to go into the grant fit check template. A lot of words to say you found your grants. Now you want to make sure that it is 100% a good fit for you. And so we have this. Uh, this is a screenshot here of this fit check. It is on our website. You can also click the fillable form online when you get these slides and you can go ahead and download that PDF and fill it out as many times as you want, because it's always beneficial to check to see if a grant is a good fit for your organization. So the, the first few things you can do are ask questions such as, does it fit your current priorities, needs, mission, vision, and or goals? Are there existing relationships? If so, can you leverage them? Do you have a previous relationship or connection with the funder? Can you meet the grant application deadline? And can you manage grant related activities? And have you discussed your application readiness? Now, if you'll remember, we talked about this at the very beginning before we even engaged in our search. We kind of came up with some answers to a lot of these questions before even looking at the grant. So that way, both before and after finding the grant, you can make sure you know what you're looking for and see if the grant is a good fit. So we really uh, highly recommend that you utilize this uh, this document and make it work for you. You can score on a scale of zero to 10 and at the end you you calculate up how uh, the total score and, and you'll get a good idea of if it'll be a good fit for you or not. All right, we're coming to the end here. So a couple of reminders. As you're working on your grant applications and you're engaging in grant discovery, read, read, read. There is so much to read in a, especially a federal opportunity announcement, but you have to understand each piece. You need to make sure you also plan ahead that you have enough time to fulfill these different um, segments of the grant application process, not only the discovery, but the actual application and then of course the grants management. Make sure you're aware of timing and that you get things in on time. Don't wait till the last minute to submit. We've all had those days where technology just for whatever reason no longer works when you need it the most. So make sure you're submitting at least a day beforehand. Uh, at bare minimum to get those applications in um, without any technology difficulties or to make sure that you can deal with those technology difficulties. You don't want to miss out because you submitted two minutes late. That is the worst feeling in the world. Um, again, understand what you are looking for. Really engage in that um, understanding your program, your project, your organization before you even begin the search. Uh, establish a network and build relationships. You never know where you're going to hear about different sources of funding. You can be so tapped in to all of these different directories and grants.gov and still miss something because there are so many opportunities to sort through. But if you're you've established a network and a and you've built these relationships with people who know what you're looking for, if they see something, they may just forward it on to you. And vice versa, if you see something that you know other might be a good fit for other people, go ahead and forward it to them. Just an email goes a long way to establishing that network and making sure we can bring in more federal dollars into the state of Nevada. And then explore underrepresented funding opportunities. Maybe you need to tweak your project or program just a little bit to um, help it become more ready for an application. So uh, one last thing uh, that isn't here on this slide is SAM.gov. Make sure that you, if needed, are registered. It does take Sometimes, so make sure that you're not waiting till the last week to do it. Give yourself a month at least, uh, hopefully a couple of months to make sure that you're all registered there. Um, if you ever get stuck, please reach out to the our office. We have a technical support line that you can reach out to, and we're always happy to help look at an opportunity announcement for with you to make sure it's a good fit, or even if you're struggling with grant discovery to help you um, find that that perfect grant. And then uh, 
just make sure you have enough time. I really cannot stress the importance of good time management. So super, super important. And finally, a couple of reminders um, for some grants, there is a requirement that you go through a single point of contact to fulfill intergovernmental review. OFA does serve as that single point of contact. We do have a Q&A section on our website all about this if you've got some questions. Uh, it is not every grant, but it is some grant. So again, just make sure you read, read, read all of the applicate or all of the uh, funding opportunity announcement. Make sure you understand what's going on there. And again, if you have questions, please reach out. All right, before we go into our Q&A for today, a couple reminders of the services that OFA provides. We do have that notice of funding opportunity and database. Uh, we do request that if you have funding opportunities available, please submit them. It, it helps us make sure that we get out all the information about these opportunities and that we don't deobligate funds. That's really not what we want to be doing. Uh, our grant manual, we're very excited. The last update happened in 2018, and we've been working very, very hard the last couple of months to get a brand new updated grant manual. We doubled the length of it because um, there were so many things we felt was important to add, and that will be coming in a couple of weeks. So we're very, very excited. We also offer free technical assistance. So again, please reach out to us at grants at ofa.nv.gov. And then we do our free monthly trainings. Uh, the next one will be on May 24th on a Wednesday at 10 a.m. And that will be navigating Nevada state processes for federal grant timelines. So now that you found your grant and you are ready to get going on it, uh, making sure that you understand all of the processes that may or may not uh, be required on the state end to, to receive that federal award. And then we do have our Grants 101 training available on our website now, as well as our federal grant matching and the Nevada grant matching program training on our website also if you, you need uh, matching funds for the grant that you found. And then finally, please sign up for our newsletter. It goes out once a month. We try not to spam you uh, so you, that you don't miss anything. But there we have uh, service highlights. We also post grant opportunities that are new and um, definitely uh, applicable to your organization in that moment if you're a nonprofit, a state agency, a local agency, or a tribal government. So please make sure you sign up for those. That's the best way to stay in touch with us. And finally, uh, we would ask that you take our survey. It's a two minute survey. I know that we all hate them, but this one will be really easy to let us know um, what further training that you need, because ultimately we're here for you and we th we we only know what we know. So we have an idea of some of the deficiencies within the state in terms of uh, grant readiness and how to apply for a grant and capacity, but just, we're, we're not all knowing, right? We only know what we know. So please make sure you submit to that survey what opportunities um, and training opportunities you would like to see in the future. And with that, we are at the half hour mark, so I am going to open it up for Q&A. We will stop the recording at this time, so that way, um, if you're a little camera shy, then don't worry. I'm going to, uh, it's going to take me about a minute here to get all of the appropriate technology things worked out. So if you have a burning question, make sure you throw it in the chat and then otherwise raise your hand and we'll call on you as the questions come. 